So I got asked about using subtraction on a number line, and a teacher was curious about what that looks like. Uh, before I show that, I think it's important that we talk about the two different ways that people view subtraction. Um, we often view it as takeaway, but it also means finding the difference. That's what the answer to a subtraction problem is actually called, is the difference. So let's take a look at a couple of problems uh, with takeaway and difference, so we can talk about the difference between those two ideas and what those might look like on a number line. So let's say I wanted to view it as takeaway, and we're going to start with uh, a you know, simple problem like 15 minus 7 for our young kiddos. Uh, if they're viewing that as takeaway, and then they want to go put that on a number line, they would start at the 15, and then they need to take away 7. Now, in the very beginning, kids might do that one by one by one, but if you've been doing anything with my number sense course or any of the things that I've been doing around number sense, taking in my workshops, you know I'm a big fan of getting kids to group and chunk instead of doing it one by one by one. So a group that kids might do is to take away five because that gets them to a friendly number of ten, that makes them happy. And then well, I need to take away seven so I only have to take away two more and that gets me to eight. So the things for them to see in a takeaway model is that they have to take away all seven. Let's get that together. The 2 and the 5 are the 7 that they needed to take away and where they end is the answer when you take away 7 from 15. Now that's not the only way to view subtraction though. So let's come back and think about our 15 minus 7 but view it as a difference. Subtraction can also be seen as what's the distance or difference between the two numbers. So if I have 7 on a number line and 15 on the number line, how far apart are they? We do this a lot with comparison problems. How much more? How much less? That's really what we're looking at is what is that difference between the two numbers. So even in here, Kids could do it one by one by one by one, but again, I want to encourage some of that chunking, and I want kids to think about those benchmark numbers that they know it takes three to get to 10, and then it would take five to get to 15. So the answer though, where is that in that problem? It is the difference between, or distance between those two numbers, right? So. It works when we're working with kind of the basic facts, but even as they go up into larger amounts, let's take a look at what those uh, two different models of subtraction would look like on a number line. So if I've got 213 and I want to take away 45, again, it's all about getting kids to chunk. I don't want them counting one by one by one to take away 45. They might take it away in tens, in groups of 10, um, which is totally fine, but even as they are doing things with larger numbers, though, we want to start encouraging bigger groupings. What kind of groupings can you do? Um, so it's up to them how they do that, but in this number, I, we see kids a lot of times will take away um, 13 because it gets them to a friendly number of 200. Uh, the thing to watch out for for them though is if they took away 13, we have to think about what's still left to take away. So I have them do like a little number bond with the number. So if I had 13, I would still have 32 that I need to take away. Then when they come here, they can make the choice. Can I take away all 32 at once? A lot of times kids will take away a 30 to get to 170 and then, sorry, my seven's not that good, <laughs> and then take away the two to get to 168, okay? So that's the takeaway model, is that they start with the original amount and then they are taking away the amount that they're told to take away. Um, but if we view it as the difference between the two numbers, so I've got 213 on my number line and I've got 45 on my number line and I'm really trying to find out how far apart they are. Um, kids could start up at the 213 and make their way down, but most of the time we see kids starting with the 45 and going up because adding is just way easier than subtracting. So I might add 5 here to get me to 50 
and then once I'm at 50, I'd probably do another 50 to get to 100. Um, and again, kids might have a less sophisticated way of hopping up the number line here. It might be less efficient than mine. Um, and then right here, with my understanding, I can make the big leap of 113, but some kids might not. They might do some smaller chunks and some smaller hops in here, but I'm gonna go ahead for the sake of this video and just do big hop. But again, our answer you can't really see it right there until you find this. So adding that up is will tell them the difference between those two numbers. Okay, so kids need lots of practice is seeing subtraction in those two different ways. Here's a couple of story problems that just help demonstrate the difference between takeaway and difference. So Sierra has $15, she spends seven. How much money does she have now is a takeaway model of subtraction. If the story problem is Sierra has $15 and Cam has $7, how much more money does Sierra have than Cam? That is more of a compare or difference. I'm trying to find the difference between those two amounts. So a lot of times these kind of compare problems here at the bottom are done with bar models. Um, so I'm going to do kind of a rough sketch here of, let's say here's, here is Sierra's and she has 15 and Camden has $7. Uh, it's often modeled with bar models like this, but we could do something similar on a number line, like take their bar models and show them how that that they just made with their number line, here's 15, or the, with the bar models can be replicated into a number line. And here's Cam's seven, and really what we're trying to figure out is, right, right here, we're trying to figure out that, and we're trying to figure out that, right? So that's a way that you can uh, relate the bar model to a number line and help kids make that transition. Um, but I'm a big fan of bar models, tape diagrams, whatever you call them, as well as number lines, but I don't want kids to see them as completely separate things. I always want kids to be able to see the connections between the models that we are doing. So again, help kids see subtraction as takeaway, but also as difference, because that's what subtraction is, is the difference between two numbers. And you can do that easily with a number line.